This video is brought to you by Sailrite. Boat fenders come in a variety of styles and designs. Today we're going to make a fender cover for a popular brand of fender from TaylorMade called the Big B or the Center Rope Tube. These fenders use a rope tube which accommodates a line that runs through the fender. The ends of these types of fenders are almost flat and since a rope runs through them we can simply insert a grommet at the top of the fender cover and use a drawstring at the bottom to draw the cover up tight. For the ultimate in hull protection, no marring or color transfer to your boat, make a fender cover using boat blanket material from Sailrite. Angela from the Sailrite Loft is going to show us how it's made. To start our fender cover project, we first need to get a few measurements from the actual fender we will be covering. Get a circumference measurement around the fender. Using that figure, we will calculate the diameter of the top circle pattern by dividing that figure by pi, which is 3.14. To this diameter figure, we will need to add the seam allowance of 3 quarter of an inch, and also an extra half inch, which will allow the cover to fit better over the fender. Next, use the circumference measurement to calculate for the main fabric's body's length. Add to that circumference measurement the seam allowance of 3 quarter of an inch and the extra half inch which will give us a good fit yet allow the cover to easily be slid onto the fender. Then to calculate the height of the main body, take a measurement from the top edge of the fender to the hole on the underside of the fender. The height measurement will typically include enough fabric for the top seam and the sleeve at the bottom of the fender cover. We're going to use boat blanket fabric and we will pattern on the underside of the fabric. The top side is soft and plush while the underside is not. We will pattern for each fender a top circle and a main body from the figures we just took. Here we are measuring with a yardstick and a sharpie marker on the underside of the fabric. Then we can cut it out with scissors. To cut the top circle we will use the figure we calculated and divide it by two to find the center and then we will mark that distance from the center on both sides of the yardstick at several locations so we can trace a circle the correct size. Boat blanket fabric from Sayerite does not unravel when cut with scissors. Now we have the main body and the top circle cut out. Boat blanket fabric is an extremely durable, protective spectropile fabric. This solution dyed non-woven plush polyester has a soft outer surface that is safe when used against gel coat and other hard coated surfaces. That's why it's a perfect choice for fender covers. It is UV, chemical and mold resistant and it's good for outdoor marine environments. Boat blanket fabric is designed for use anywhere a soft, tough cover is required. Use it to make fender covers, anti-scorching sun strips, pier piling covers, mooring and anchor line shafe guards, webbing, sling pads, and hiking straps. Boat blanket fabric is available in a multiple of colors at sayarite.com. We will cut a hole in the center of the round top cover. This fender will accommodate a rope size of up to 3 quarter inch, but we're going to use a half inch inside diameter grommet or a number 4 size. We have cut a hole using a number 4 hole cutter and will now set the number 4 spur grommet with a die set. If you do not own a die set to set a large grommet like this, coming up we'll be showing you how you can simply sew around the hole using the Sailrite Alterfeed LSZ1 sewing machine. We've set the machine up with a very short stitch length and a maximum zigzag width. Now we will simply sew around the perimeter of the hole which will reinforce the fabric and give us a nice looking opening. This is not as strong as an actual grommet, but for a fender cover like this typically the hole will not experience much force or abuse. If you like you can take another pass around the circle covering it with two rows of a zigzag. We are using a number 20 size needle with our V92 polyester thread to sew this fender cover. 
We are now going to use the Sailrite Ultrafeed LS1 sewing machine to sew the rest of the fender cover. Even a home sewing machine may be able to sew this boat blanket uh, fabric. But the Sailrite Ultrafeed sewing machine, whether it be the LS1 or the LSZ, really does a phenomenal job of sewing boat blanket material because of the walking foot. We have positioned the circle on the correct end of the rectangle and have lined up the edge of the circle with the edge of the main body's fabric. We will start sewing about six inches away from the corner and do some reversing to lock the stitch in place. Then we will simply sew around the perimeter, lining up the edges as we sew. When we get to the opposite end, we will stop sewing about three inches away from the corner and do some more reversing to lock the stitch in place. Now before we finish the opening of the circle, we want to sew close the main body's edge down the height of the cover. To do this, determine where the stitch should be placed by walking the unsewn part together to match the distance of the top circle. When the two sides meet around the circle, that's where we want the stitch to be placed. If your patterns were cut correctly, it should place the stitch about 3 8 inch from the edge of the fabric. Sew down this length all the way to the opposite edge. Now we can concentrate on closing up the unsewn part that holds the circle in place. We placed it in the sewing machine and do a little bit of reversing at the beginning and we'll walk it around and do some reversing at the end. Here we are going over that seam. Turn the cover right side out and fit it over the fender to check its fit. It should not be too tight or too loose. We will next be sewing a hem along the bottom, so if it's tight now, it will likely be too tight to fit after the sleeve is finished. We want it to fit just like this. We have a perfect fit that will only get tighter with the next step, so we remove it from the fender and feed our leech line into a sleeve next. Here we're going to cut the leech line the circumference plus about 6 or 7 inches. Then we're going to use a hot knife to seal the ends of the leech line to keep it from unraveling. Find the seam at the bottom edge and create a small slit in the boat blanket fabric to allow the line to exit the sleeve. No reason to use a grommet here as a grommet may cause damage to the boat and also the line should not cause damage to the cover since this is just an exiting hole under no great shear force. This slit is about an inch away from the seam and two inches away from the raw bottom edge of the fabric. So this places the slits on or very close to the folded edge of the sleeve as shown here. Next, fold the edge of the fabric in about two inches and feed the leech line through the slit if not done already. And then guide it into the sleeve as you sew it around the perimeter. All we're doing here is creating a two inch hem or a sleeve as we guide the leech line inside of it. Be careful not to sew through the leech line as we need it to tension the opening closed in a later step. Before sewing the whole sleeve shut, stop sewing about 6 inches away from the seam and create another slit for the opposite end of the line to exit. Then feed the line through and finish off your sewing of the sleeve. That completes the fender cover for the center rope tube fender. Now just pull it over the fender and tension the line at the bottom. You now have the ultimate in haul protection. No marring or color transfer to your boat using boat blanket material from Sailrite. The materials list is coming up next. We've listed the half inch spur grommet, but as you have seen in the video, you could simply sew around the hole for the rope and save yourself from having to buy the spur grommet die set if you don't have that already. 
If you have questions, be sure to give us a call. For more free videos like this, be sure to check out the Sayrite website or subscribe to the Sayrite YouTube channel today. It's your loyal patronage to Sayrite that makes these free videos available. Thanks for your loyal support. I'm Eric Grant, and from all of us here at Sayrite, thanks for watching.